Hey guys, behind me you can see my Huawei Caddy 3, also known as the Caddy 2K. And I'm about to change the glow blocks and the oil and the oil filter. And I want to bring you guys with me, because if you want to change it yourself, maybe this can help you. So let's go right into it and let's go. We open this thing here. You push it like this and it locks. So you have to find a little release here. You press it and it opens just like that. So this 1.9 liter turbo diesel engine is super easy to work with here. You can fill the oil and here you have already the glow blocks all facing to the front. So you just pull this one off and then we're already faced with the glow blocks. We just take them out. It's that easy. So why changing the glow blocks in the first place? If you have a diesel engine and you experience, especially in the mornings when it's getting colder, that when you switch your key, and the car takes two or three seconds to even start. When it's warmer, you turn your key and it starts immediately. That's a sign that one or several of your glow blocks are defect. What you can do is you can just buy a multimeter and measure them. You can also save yourself buying a multimeter and measuring. You can just replace them. It's about 10 to 15 euros for each of the glow blocks. And most of the cases, then your car will start fine again. Let's go. One thing that's also advisable before you let out the oil Start the engine, let it run warm a little bit, and we have just a cleaner oil change. Three, two, one. Now the engine is hot, now we go underneath the car and we place something to prepare for training the oil. This is to train the oil. So the oil is training right now and when you touch it, you still feel it's really warm and that's how it should be. So all the particles are dispensed in the oil. It's much better than if you do it on a cold engine. So the next step is to change the oil filter, which we find here. That is the oil filter. Here we have the new filter from Male. Important is to always change the ceiling. This is the old ceiling, so you just take this one out, place this one, and it's all good. Just go in with a screwdriver like this, and you get it off. So this is the new ceiling, and we place it now. Take some of the oil and just go over it, and this also assures a better ceiling. And this is where the filter is being placed afterwards. Just make sure that everything is clean, nothing fell in. Just place it in like this. Press on it. And then finally, you put in the screw again with 30 Newton meters before you fill in the oil. Which oil? If you go online for your car, there's plenty of options, so it's a bit confusing. But for the Volkswagen diesel engine like this one, for the Caddy 3, also known as the Caddy 2K, we need the specification VW50700. So if the oil has this, you're good to go. If you have a petrol engine, you need the specification VW50400. So this oil is from the brand Manol and it has both specifications. So you can use it for the petrol and for the diesel engine. And it's called Energy Combi LL. The engine has, you can put in between 3.8 to 4.2 liters. Start with the lower end, 3.8, because you don't want to overfill your engine. Because if you go over the max level, then this is actually harmful. So don't do this. And let's put it in. Here is the transparent line. The small markings mark half a liter. The big markings mark one liter. So I would go around four liters. And then you just check how much oil is in there with the oil marking stick. And you're good to go. And what I also recommend before you close the filter, you put some oil in there. Because if the engine starts the first time, it needs some time to fill the oil filter. And then there could be a time where there's not enough oil running through the pistons. So make sure to pour in like 100, 200 milliliters already into the oil filter. You always find with how many Newton meters you have to tighten it. In this case, 25 Newton meters. So now we can check if we filled in enough oil and we are at minimum, which makes sense because I have only placed 3.8 liters now. 
and I think we can go up to four. So if you look here, here you can see the rail which brings the electricity, the electric current to the glow plugs. And we're gonna take it out now. You just pull relatively close where it enters the glow plug and that way you don't break it. And that was already it. So now here you can see the glow plugs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They are this long and this thing is what gets heated up and it gets really, really hot, really quick. And that's what makes your diesel ignite with the compression of the engine. So we now take out four, one, two, three, four, and then we put this new one in. One, two, three, four. So I have to quickly say one thing before we take them out. The glow plugs, they are very, some sort of fragile. So they're very thin walled. If you would put too much force when you want to take them out, they can break. And if they break, then you have to go to a professional and they drill it open. So they make a hole through this one, take it out. It's a thing that can cost up to a thousand euros or even more. So what I recommend always is using a, this thing in English, it's, I think it's called, this thing, but it shows you exactly how much force you're putting on the glow plug. They break around 40 to 50 Newton meters. So what you do is you start with 20. And here you see the Newtons. So we're going up to 20 and then we are sure that nothing can break at that point around here. Then we fix it and now around 20, it will stop. So guys, what you can do before you take out the glow plugs, just use some WD-40, spray it in there, and this one, make sure it goes in to the thread and makes it much easier for it to come out. I recommend doing this like two, three, four days before you take out the glow plugs. Just do it every day, like a little spray, and it will help you a lot. So that's how it works. You just go in, and then you give a little spray. Give another one. So here we have the long glow plug socket. It is basically a normal 10 millimeter socket, but it is longer. Here you can see it fits in perfectly. We can also make a direct comparison to understand its length. A long glow plug head needs a long socket head. So the first one was no problem. So the second one was also no problem at all. Also the third one, no problem. So guys, as you can see, all four of them went out super easy because I applied already some of the WD-40 some days ago, um, which makes the whole thing much less complicated. Here we have the old glow plugs and here we have the new glow plugs. Now it's time to set the torque wrench to 15 newton meters. Then take the new glow plugs and insert them by hand. First one, second one, third one and the fourth one. Just tighten them by hand before you place the torque wrench. When you heard the click, that means you reached the set force for the glow plug. Well, here we have a contact spray. This is optional. You can just put a little bit on the glow plug and a little bit on the electrical line that that's get plugged on the head of the glow plug just to make sure there's a good contact. And then you hear and you hear a click and you know that the line is really fully plugged in. Make sure that you press only on the head of the glow units that you don't break the line. Okay, and then we just check the last time if they're all fully in. Perfect guys, so now I'm gonna start the engine, we'll see if everything works out. If I now turn the key, it should start immediately. Let's do it. So guys, the engine started immediately, which shows us that it was the slow plugs. Now, after the engine was running for a minute, we control the oil level if it's between minimum and maximum. 
And then you can see with some basic tools you can do it yourself. I hope you learned something in this video and we'll see us in the next. I'm going to build a camper out of this one and I hope you will follow me along. You can also check out the previous build, how I converted a Fiat Ducato into a high-tech camper. Thanks so much. I hope this was helpful. See you next video. Bye. And remember, it's not specific to a certain car. So you can use whatever car you need or whatever car you like and just read through the book. And it's made really easy just for you. Check it out.